Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you've probably guessed by the title, I'm going to be doing a challenge today, a little makeup challenge. I saw this on Nikki Tutorials um, video recently and I thought it would be a lot of fun to try and like try it out. So I'm going to do blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to be like attempting the 60 minute versus 6 minute makeup challenge. So one side of my face is going to be like the hour makeup look and the other side is the six minute one so i'll start off with the one hour the 16 minute one to get like a basis of like what glam look i want to do and then i'm gonna attempt to do my makeup in six minutes on the other side let the game begin let's get this timer started ready and go okay <laughs> okay first of all i'm going to start with primer today i'm going to take oh i'm not gonna use I'm going to go in with my Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Really just because it's the first thing I grabbed. Plus my skin's feeling a little bit dry and I want something tacky on my skin to really adhere the makeup too. So like I said, I'm applying it to one side of my face. Okay, next foundation. I'm going to take my first one I'm picking up, which is my Airborne uh, Perfecting Liquid Foundation SPF 15. This is in the shade neutral beige and just smearing it all over the face i'm going for a full beat glam look like i mean we're using an hour so might as well might as well go full out just blending this through i mean i have an hour i don't know why i'm rushing i think it's just the time limit like i've done my makeup in an hour like easily before but really that was like it wasn't as glam as what I'm like picturing this time. I'm just going in with my beauty sponge because I feel like with the brush, because I'm rushing, it's making it super streaky. So I need to dial it back and just start pushing it into the skin really. Voila! Next I'm going to go in and conceal. I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige to highlight, conceal and slightly contour. I feel like actually I totally, I think the challenge will be the six minute one because literally I just realised I'm only doing half of my face. Yeah, no, I just realised. <laughs> and I realised that I, yeah, I'm only doing half so I've got an hour to do it. That means I need one eye, one side of everything, one brow, one everything. Like, oh! And then I'm just taking this brush from Sigma. It's the F86 Kabuki and I'm just blending out the concealer. By the way, you guys were so sweet on my vlog that I posted up the other day. Like, I had so much positive feedback from it, which was like so sweet. Especially because it's something different on my channel. I was a bit nervous, like just slightly. Yeah, let me know what you guys else what you guys want to see, like vloggy wise on my channel or makeup wise, whatever you want to do, like whatever you prefer. <laughs> Lemona. Next is powder. I'm going to take this Napoleon Purtis Mattifying Mineral Primer. I know, like I said last time in my video, that it is a primer, but. I like it actually as like a face powder. It is a bit yellow though. I don't think I mentioned this in my other video. But it is slightly like yellow. And by slightly I mean it's pretty yellow isn't it? I feel like Marge Simpson as I'm pressing this into my skin. But it does tone down. Like I wore it the other day. Like after I applied it. And it stayed pretty. Like it just highlights the face really in a sense. Like it's not really giving you too much Homer Simpson kind of vibes more just highlighting whereas if it stayed like super super yellow then I'd probably be like nah no thank you it's not my cup of tea too easy so next I'm going to go in with the brows before I bronze just because I want to just give a little bit of something to it it just looks so sad right now so basically what I like to go in with as you guys know probably by now if you've watched me for a while is I like to use the Master Brow Pro palettes in the shade deep brown and soft brown oh lol Deep brown and soft brown. I start off with soft brown in the head of my brow. And just kind of press and flick it to get that nice carved bottom edge on this angled brow brush. I will do an updated brow routine for you guys. Just because I have done a different technique of late which I've really been enjoying. I think it gives me such carved brows without actually having to carve them out. 
and just place that through all the way to the tail of the brow. So I'll actually give my tail the deepest, darkest part. Okay, next thing I'm going to take is my brow gel. This is the Tinted Brow Gel from Rimmel in the shade Dark Brown. Pretty self-explanatory. And I'm just brushing this gel through the hairs to tint them a little bit so they stand out against the dark brown powder. I've been doing my brows a bit darker too just because I dyed my hair darker so I've tried to kind of match my brow colour to my hair. So I'm going to move on to the eyes like real quick. I'm thinking a glam like cut crease kind of thing. Kind of vibe, you know. For eye primer today I'm going to take my soft ochre paint pot from MAC. You guys can use your concealer if you want but I do recommend priming the lid just to give a bit of a base for the eyeshadows that we're going to apply over the top. Okay, so next I'm going to apply like a soft brown. I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm just going to take the shade Made for Each Other and Silk Cream. Yeah, I love those two shades. I think they're my perfect transition. I'm just going to apply them through my crease. I think I was taking it too cruisy before. I think I need to speed up the process because it's already 43 minutes left. And I only just started my eye. I've got to do the rest of my face, my lips. Okay, it's getting a little bit of pressure. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. So I'm just kind of whacking that like with my soft crease brush through the crease just slightly above as well because I want to softly create a gradient into the deeper colours of applying on after. Just thinking what kind of cut crease look I want to do. Alright, I've thought of a look. Okay, so I'm going to apply some orange through my crease. I'm taking some of this soft orange from the Jack and Hill Morphe palette called Creamsicle. Next, I'm going to take the shade Flame Point from the Sugar Peel palette and just placing that on with a petite crease brush. And I'm really just focusing this on my outer portion of my eye. And I'm blending what's ever's left through towards the inner corner, but mainly focusing it here. Now I'm quickly cutting my crease with some of that paint pot again. And just blending the edges so it doesn't have any harsh lines. Then on a flat pro precision like smudge brush from Morphe, I'm taking some of the shade Jada and also mixing it with a bit of the remnants of Pool Party. And just placing that on the inner third of my lid. And I always do this by switch to my precise shader from Zoeva. I just think it applies it more crisper. Just the other brush is a little bit too bulky for the edges, like the def you know the detailed parts. Oh, this is so pretty. These two shades. Oh. Next on that that Pro Precision smudge brush, I'm going to take the shade Twerk, which is this beautiful royal blue shade just place that next to those turquoisey shades and just blending some of pool party and jada into twerk so it's not so harsh and then taking some of royalty which is this beautiful purple shade i'm packing this on my outer corner and on a pencil brush i'm actually going to take some of this poison plum shade and apply that into the very outer corner just into royalty a little bit and then grabbing a little bit of flame point and just buffing that in as well that will do don't care that will do i can't get this little patchy bit to fix up so i think i might go in with wing liner i mean i was going to go in with wing liner anyway so i'm not too phased about it i'm going to do a extravagant liquid liner wing we're going to take my unshakable liquid liner. I'm just going to do quite quite the wing on this look. Thank god I'm only doing like one eye as well so it doesn't even matter if my wings aren't even today because I'm only having one. Ha <laughs> ha. And I already screwed it up. <laughs> nice work. And I'm just extending it a little bit toward the inner corner. Holy crap, we have 23 minutes and 34 seconds. Okay, people, we got this. We can do this. Okay, next I'm going to apply some mascara and a lash. <laughs> Just one lash, no, nothing big. First lashes I've chosen are the Iconic, so I'm going to go in with the Iconics today. I was thinking of going with like one of the Attitude pair, but I grabbed these ones first, so I like 
these are going to be my choice of lash for today. So you guys haven't noticed, I actually went to a like event on the weekend. I went to the Tony Robbins um, Unleash the Power Within like seminar. It was like four days. It's actually amazing. If you guys get the chance, I definitely recommend. I'll talk to you more about it um, either in my vlog or my next video if you guys are interested. Probably not the best time to talk when I've got literally 10, 20 minutes to go. So... I just want to like recommend to you guys like it is literally like such an incredible event. Defo recommendo. I feel like the lash is the most stressful part of my looks. Like I always just struggle getting it on, anchored, stuck in place. But once it's done I can just like breathe. The hardest part is done. The rest should be a breeze. So I'm going to take a nude and just place that on my waterline. This one is from Models Prefer. It's the one I usually go in with. And basically I'm just repeating the sequence on the bottom lash line. To a point, I guess. Like I'm literally just going to take some of that purple from my Sugar Pill palette. Just wiggle that closely against the outer part of my eye. Just like that. And then taking the orange shade and buffing it out. And then I'm going to grab some of this gold shade and apply that on the inner portion of my bottom lash line. I'm going to highlighting with that and light shade. And I'm going to be a little bit extra and just do a little glitter line across my cut crease. I'm just going to let it dry real quick. Oh, this was the um, Revlon Eye Art, Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle. I'm trying to save time, but I don't think this is very effective. Because I don't want to wait for the glitter to dry, but I don't want to like... Like, I didn't want to not do it, so... We're being risque today, taking some risks. Okay, that's the eyes done, son. Now for the rest of the face, so I'm going to test use my good old NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and use the two browns. If you hear that's like... Actually, you know what? You hear this? That's my phone. Like, guys, it's on its last leg. It's a real sad truth. To contour, I'm going in with a little bit of breakup from Makeup Geek on my bronzer brush. I like the taper head because it really just gets into that cheekbone. Every time I see myself in the viewfinder with like half my face done, I'm trying not to laugh because it looks so funny. So for blush, because I have enough time, I hope, yep, nine minutes to go. Oh, I'm blitzing this shit in it, mate. I'm blitzing it. I'm so happy. I'm going to go in with my Infatuated from Makeup Geek. So I'm just applying this, and it just ties into all this summery look as well. It's kind of like a rosy pink. It's just so flattering for like a summery look. Finally, I'm going to take my highlighting trio. So I'm going to take these two shades initially. First of all, I'm going to take that middle shade and apply that to my bronzer area to get a bit of a glow then taking this shade from the palette it's called moon gleam and I'm applying that to the apples and bringing it back along the cheekbone so I'm going to do my lips so I'm going to line my lips first I'm just going to go with my eye call from makeup geek I don't think they continue selling these anymore like I looked on their site and I couldn't, I couldn't find it. So I don't know if they've discontinued these like full spectrum eye calls or not. I'm going to take Commando and apply that on my lips. Oh, these smell so good, these Kylie lipsticks. Oh my gosh, it smells like when I was little, I used to get these like cute little lip balms. And there was this like marshmallow flavoured one. And this literally smells like the marshmallow flavour. Smells so good. <laughs> I cheat my lips so much sometimes. Like, I go a bit too much, I would say. But then I'm like, no, nah, babe. Can't go too much. So next I'm going to take my Napoleon Purtis lip gloss in the shade. Yeah, this one's pink. I'm just going to apply this over the liquid lip. Yeah, I wasn't sure last time when I used it if it was just like the lip liner. But it's definitely the lip gloss. It goes like a pinky shade. It's really cute. 56 seconds to go, son. 
What? What? I'm finished with 56 to go. Yeah, I mean, like that's done. I'm just trying to think if I forgot anything else. May I just apply a little bit more bronzer? 10 seconds to go. Girl, I'm so proud of myself. Oh, I did it with 10 seconds to spare. Ready? Well. She done. What do you guys think? So this is half the face. So I'm going to do the second half in six minutes, which is the part I'm actually nervous about. I don't know what to start with first. Like I'm not going to try and attempt to do the eye in six minutes because then I'll leave like the rest of the face. I'm just trying to think of like a game plan. Let's do this. I'm just going to get straight into her. Let's do this. All right, ready? Set. Boom. Okay. Let's do this. So I think my game plan is going to be like similar to Nikki's where you do like the lash first. Like I think that was such a smart idea. Because for me I was like should I do like you know the base first and I was like no like because then you go to the lash last and you just run out of time. So while I do the base and the lash glue dries that's what I'm going to do. Just put like some primer on or something. Oh, there's no more glue left. So I'm using the same lash that I used before. This is the Iconic Lash from House of Lashes. I freaking love House of Lashes lashes. Not loving the glue when I can't get it out. That's just my fault. There you go, new one. Alright, that'll do, Donka. That'll do. So I've got our glue on our lash. You know what be funny is in all of six minutes if I just apply lash. Like a lash to my eye. That's all I get done in six minutes. I'll be like, oh my god, I need to rethink my makeup routine. Lash is still drying. Apply some primer. This primer I'm going to take is my one from Urban Decay. This is the Complexion Primer. What is it called? Correction. Complexion Primer. I'll leave it linked in the description bar anyway. But I love this to like correct any redness on my skin. It just evens out, gets rid of any pores and stuff. And because I know I'm not going to have that as glamour base, I want to have at least like a semi perfect skin, you know. Alrighty, Rue. Lash is pretty much dry. I think the trick is to remain calm. Don't mind the aeroplane. I couldn't just leave one eye with lash and one eye with no lashes, you know. Like they both gotta have some lashes on them. Okay, that's good. Gonna grab my foundation again and just like literally just chuck it on with the sponge. That'll do, John Care, that'll do. Okay, and next is powder. So I'm gonna grab some of that loose powder again on a dry sponge. This is the Napoleon Purtis powder. That, pr oh, that priming powder that we used before on our other side of our face. I'm just applying it down. And it also brightened my eyes since I actually didn't use concealer. It would be a good way to just like kind of brighten that area on the center of my face and kind of give a bit of like a false, false sense of security, like just a bit of highlight. Oh, my lash is like coming off. Oh. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. That'll actually do. Okay, next is crap 37 seconds. Oh my god, my god, my god. Let's bronze up, bronze up, bronze up. 30 seconds. Oh my god. Oh no, I know why that was so stressed. Oh, I haven't done anything to my brows. Okay, that'll do. Highlight. 20 seconds to go. Oh. Just gonna highlight the brow bone, nose, chin. Oh my god, there's a tinted brow. Oh my god, six seconds, six seconds. No, no, no. Yes, 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 found it, found it, found it. Two seconds. Ah, oh, that was so stressful. I didn't even get to do my lips. It was so sad. <laughs> So this, guys, concludes today's challenge. I think I did pretty well. I mean, like I owned the 60 minute side but my six minute side not so much i think i spent too much time on foundation that's my verdict it's my final verdict next time i'm just gonna like conceal and then just chuck on some bronzer some blush but now i'm gonna prioritize my lips because i'm literally looking at them like <laughs> what is this 
Anyways, I had a lot of fun doing this challenge with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave down in the comment section below what you would like to see next in my upcoming videos, whether it be a vlog, a makeup tutorial, uh, trying new products, whatever it may be, let me know down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'll love to see you guys in my next tutorial slash vlog slash video, whatever it may be. I hope you enjoyed today and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.